Annyeonghaseyo! I'm Demarche Slye. I'm Aria. And we're Soji for Two. two. Okay, so next is going to be a cultural reveal. Yes. And this is of the Yi Young Hee um, Fashion Museum in, on thirty on Thirty Second Street, Korea West. So the address is Two West Thirty Second Street, New York. And what's great about this place is you would never, never. find it if no. you didn't know what you look for. So we found it because we were sitting in a uh, food gallery thirty two, yeah. which sells like red mango. And the third floor, we saw it. The sign it says museum. And we were like, okay, what's this? So we looked at museum and we went over there. So if you didn't know it, you yeah. would never find you would never it. See it. It's on the third floor. And obviously if you're walking on the same side of the street, you'll never you would see never see it at all. I mean, like there's a little sign on the door, I guess. But it's it's all it's all very like burgundy and white. So it's not very like eye catching. Mm. Yeah, it just it's, seems like a very... They need to work on their advertising. Yeah. But it's really worth it. So the hours are weird. It's 1.30 to like 5. Mm. Um, and if you don't get ring the doorbell and no one comes right off the bat go like wait because it's really just one little old lady and <laughs> she may not hear it or something like that so um, it's also a suggested donation it's yeah. five dollars um, I'd say you pretty much want to pay that because it'll probably be the only person there <laughs> so prepare for like five dollars yeah um, and it's really cool apparently Lee Young Hee we've never heard of her before mm -hmm. but she's a very like famous uh, Korean traditional designer who sort of does um, sort of traditional hanboks and then also sort of modern mm -hmm. versions, versions of, of the hanbok and I guess it's up for retail it's still up for retail you can yeah. still buy some of the clothing I'm not sure if she's still making clothing or how that works but I wasn't a little bit confused about that but they definitely yeah. still have clothing there and what's cool is she donated a giant collection mm -hmm. of antiques mm -hmm. And replicas of um, Korean traditional clothing, yeah. mostly Joseon era, Joseon. which is like from 1310, I guess, to, to 1910. Yeah. yeah, like somewhere right around there. And obviously, that's a large range, right. mm -hmm. but it was sim. I guess the clothing really Same, had, really similar, mm -hmm. and still something that people wear. And there's like a lot of hair accessories. So if you're, mm -hmm. what's great about this? If you're like us and yeah. you love Moon Embrace of the Sun, Sun Kun Kwan, yeah. sort of walking through this place, and we love bit, fashion. So. And we love fashion. Mm -hmm. So walking through this place is like a bit of like, oh, I know that from this show yeah. I know that from this show but you actually get to see like the shows really take time to be authentic yeah. because this is you know we're looking at replicas and or, or originals and it really looks the same as the show so that's really cool to know so we're gonna insert some video mm -hmm. um, right now okay so what you guys just saw was just like a little brief uh, overview it's not a very big mm -hmm. museum so really this is all there is in the museum this sort of space but there's a lot to look at on each of the mannequins and there's lots of um, mm -hmm. tables sort of yeah little glass cases mm -hmm. that have hairpins and um, like purchase knives. Some things um, that mm -hmm. are also there we got our mother uh, a little head pin uh, we'll insert the picture of that now <laughs> and um, this head pin, uh, you know, hair pin, it just kind of goes in and it's similar to the style that you see like the royalty wear and stuff and I just think it was so pretty and we really wanted to also like kind of support uh, the little museum Yeah, well. and so they're, um, the things that are for sale, they are pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would say it's not really like a gift shop where you can really buy just anything. Yeah. Um, they do have some things that are cheaper. The jewelry, uh, it's like 50 yeah. It's 50 to, to like 600 yeah. It so ranged. it ranged pretty high, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's nice to buy something like, you know, we support a, a small mm -hmm. sort of foundation like yeah. this. So, and it was really, I mean, we were really surprised by this because we had, didn't really know much cultural things to do mm -hmm. on Korea Way. And when we saw this, we were really excited because, I mean, not only is it cool fashion, it's historical, mm -hmm. uh, it's just kind of like something to find randomly on a street in New York. Yeah. And it was really neat. So I'd recommend if you're on Korea Way, you happen to be there between 1.30 and 5. <laughs> Um, and I think it's only Tuesday yeah. through Friday that yeah. she's there, so I don't think it's Monday. I should have checked that, but yeah. um, I would say it's like it would be a fun thing to do, like you know, if you get a bunch of girls together, get your family together. I think it'd be really worth it to see, yeah. just to sort of see like the cultural, you know, fashion. I, mean, that's I think awesome. what we noticed too, and I want to mention um, that we didn't really see like in the dramas and stuff is how intricate the fabric is, mm. uh, which we were the really texture, the yeah. embroidery, and for us that was really special to kind of see up in person close and, and just learn a little bit about it. And the lady was really helpful. We had a couple questions and she was really nice so I would really say you know if you are interested in fashion if you're interested in history want to learn a little bit more about Korean history check this out yeah so it's definitely worth it so we recommend it guys okay bye bye